This is my 10th session with Erica Rios. Our sessions are quite intriguing. Erica suffers from schizophrenia and is having trouble separating fantasy from reality. She believes the demonic clown did the killings and has not deviated from that story. A fascinating yet disturbing child. This is our last session before presenting our case to the court. Good morning, Erica. How are you today? Erica, please answer me. What do you want me to say? You don't believe me. What is it that you want me to believe? I didn't kill those people. If you didn't, then who did? It, it claims to be my guardian angel, but it's not. Guardian angel? It's been with me my whole life, protecting me, but it's become stronger and more violent. Erica, there is no guardian angel. That's not true. This thing is in me and I can't stop it. Erica, you stand accused of killing over 50 people. It's highly improbable that you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Perhaps there was an accomplice. There was no accomplice. There isn't even any physical evidence linking me to those murders. How do you explain that? I don't have to explain that. You do. You have to believe me. I didn't do this. Until you accept the fact that you had an accomplice, you are solely responsible for the deaths of all those innocent people. I'm sorry, Erica. I am declaring you temporarily insane. You will not be allowed to approach the bench. Please, put me on the stand. I have to tell people my story. Exorcisms have been performed on me, and this damn thing won't leave me alone. It's true. I'll never be free. What was that? What I am is complicated, beyond your puny comprehension. What do you want? <laughs> you are an impediment. You are an obstacle in my best old mission. An obstacle that must be eliminated. The curse must continue its course until completion! What curse? Ha, ha, ha.